previously on Montana Dana. I hadn't showered in five days. I tried to take a sexy thumbnail photo and I'm thoroughly enjoying the Palm Springs sunshine. And today I'm gonna take you through my van life morning routine. Good morning, friends. I'm very happy to be waking up in Palm Springs, California. First things first, as always, going to do a door reveal. Show you where I'm at. The sun is shining. Oh, it's just birds and greenery and sunshine. Um, yeah, yep, it's gonna be a good day today. Since there's sunshine, I'm gonna set up my jackeries right away, get both of them charging, and then tidy up a bit, and then do my morning routine. How good we do in a couple hours. This one's being funky. Like yesterday, the USB-C wasn't working. One of the USBs doesn't work. Hopefully the 12 volt still works. Come on, Jackery, wake up, buddy. It's probably from a cold. Something's going on with the electrical on this side though. Okay, well, it's charging. That's good. So every day at some point, I rinse out my coffee mugs and get fresh water. Sometimes this is at a gas station. Sometimes this is at a Planet Fitness. But today I'm staying outside my aunt and uncle's house. So super easy. Get to actually wash them with soap this time, which is very exciting. But this way I always have fresh drinking water for the day and coffee water for the morning after. I'm gonna get some coffee boiling with the Jackery. And then I'm gonna clean up the bedding and open up the back crack just for some extra light today. And it's supposed to be really nice out, so. Aaron here. This is super extra, but I love using cinnamon sticks as a stirring thing. That way I don't have anything to wash, nothing goes to waste, and um, I use it several times. Just let it dry out and I'll use it the next day. And I love cinnamon in my coffee, so it gives it a little bit of flavor too. Next order of business, I come over here. This is my area. This is where I create. I love this space, so I just kind of tidy it up a bit. Make sure everything's looking nice, ready to go. I have my cable ready to plug in my computer. I got my microphone ready to record. And what I'll do first thing is just sit here and journal and just ease into the day a bit. My journals are under here. They're very fancy. I got these at Disneyland. I wish I could find the same aesthetic that wasn't like Disney themed, but they're cute. This is my present journal. I'll just write a page or two in here. I just write monkey mind, which is just kind of whatever like stream of consciousness. And then I'll do one page of gratitude writing, like things I'm grateful for, goals I have, visions I have for myself, that kind of thing. So sometimes it turns into lyric writing. Sometimes I can only write one page and I'm feeling really stuck in my energy. But the most important thing is I just show up and do the writing. And usually by the end of it, it's inspired a song. So we'll see what inspiration I get today. I'm a big pen person. Love my pens, love them. Got lots to choose from. The Pilot G2 pen. Those are my jam. Those are my jam. Let's do pretty blue today. Why not? Everything is super organized. That's the only way I can do van life. I know exactly where every single thing I own is. So journal, candles, and coffee. 
How can you not have a good morning with those three things? I like to write as early in the day as possible because I'm kind of still in my dreamy state. It also sets me up on a positive note that day. So I notice the days that I don't journal and take the time to do my morning routine. I'm, I feel a little off and um, the day kind of dictates my mood instead of the opposite. Journal writing and then I'll show you what song I come up with if I come up with one. Hopefully I do. place officially my happy place i did come up with a song i don't know if you guys have seen the brene brown speech on netflix but i watched it recently and kind of inspired this song so i think it's called peanut gallery and it's kind of the whole thing like i don't take anyone's advice or criticism to heart unless they're in the arena with me so unless someone's putting themselves out there and like pursuing their dreams and you know falling down and eating shit often i don't really value their opinion on what i'm doing sort of thing so that's kind of the point of the song but um this is called peanut gallery and i got really inspired by Brene brown so it goes like this lately i've been daring greatly some love and some hate me hate me it's fine but i am in the Coliseum, they are in the bleachers drinking cheap wine. I've been reading the Brene books, working on those new hooks. Something, something, something is fine in the peanut gallery. Something, I don't know, something like that. In the peanut gallery. Dun, 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 dun. I just like that beginning part. Lately, I've been daring greatly. Some love and some hate me. Hate me, it's fine. Ooh. In the peanut gallery. I don't know, something. I don't know what the chorus is, but I forgot to show you the other day what song I wrote that morning. So there you go. It's a couple days later. I have a new pimple on my face. What about it? What about it? Sorry. Okay, so back to my morning routine. I've got little rainbows dancing on my pillows. I've got my favorite candle burning. I have all these crystals that remind me of all my beautiful adventures last year. I'm surrounded by beauty. I've got the sunshine coming in the window. This is when all my creative energies come alive right now. I'm a very mind over matter person, but having this energy around me, having my space decorated how I like it, having these little, I don't know, just these little things that make me happy, like having a pretty journal and a nice coffee mug. I don't know. It, it puts me on a good puts me on a good vibe. P.S. I'm an evening shower type of person so I don't like to work out in the mornings unless I'm going on a hike. I do usually like to go on a walk but that will be after I journal. All right we're 34%. I might have to adjust the, the uh, solar panels outside. I have plenty of sunshine. Oh yeah this one's doing good. I have plenty of sunshine. I just want to make sure we're angled directly in the light. I put in my hair extensions. This is about the time I'd put my makeup on. I don't feel like doing makeup today so I'm not going to even though I have my I drank too much coffee red face happening. That's fun, it'll go away. <gasps> Pretty birdie. Oh, look at that chubby guy. You're cute. <laughs> I love me a chubby bird. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go out and adjust the solar panels. I wanna get a good charge going and then I'm gonna go on my morning walk. I haven't brushed my teeth yet because I always finish my coffee and then I'm going to do oil pulling and brush my teeth. Feels so good to be getting into a routine and into a rhythm. I need to only drink one cup of coffee in the morning. Did any of you guys get this? I didn't know what it was from earlier. Like some people get dark circles under their eyes. I have like white circles under my eyes. I don't know why. Little raccoon. Yeah, it's always when I drink too much coffee or if I get embarrassed, I get like that bright flaming red chest or if I drink alcohol. If I drink alcohol, I'll get bright red skin. I don't know, Jackeries. I don't know. 
I guess I can angle it a little better in the sun, but we're doing pretty good. That sun feels hot today, yes. My van life journey started in March of 2021. The reason for me for doing van life is to travel around. I was gonna start a song a day um, on my birthday in 2021, but then the Love Without Borders thing happened. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just write and batch a bunch of songs because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post music and do all that in the meantime. So I put that on hold. So I'm doing that this year, but the whole point of doing van life was to do the song a day um, while traveling and find out where I wanna live. So what I've learned about myself is I absolutely love the high desert. I need the sunshine. I hate humidity. I hate snow and I need to be outside a lot. So that narrows down where I should be living quite a bit. And I moved to rainy Ireland and fell in love with Ireland. And I'm like, I could, I could handle the rain. I really like this place. So I don't know, this little journey is about getting my storage stuff from Florida back to my storage space in Utah. So just trying to like minimize, I'm just, I feel scattered all over the place because I've been living out of suitcases. I've been living in Ireland for a long time and been living overseas for a long time, had a storage place in Florida and a storage place in Utah, and I have some things in Montana. So I'm trying to just get myself in one spot so I can collect myself and just feel a little more grounded. It's been a wild, it's been a wild couple years. So anyway, it's so nice to be in my routine again. That's one thing that's been hard while traveling is every day is different. I know the days where I sit down and do my routine and I'm intentional about it. My day is so much better always. Um, it's just hard while traveling because when I wake up and just hit the road, it's hard to get into that good groove. And if I wake up and I'm freezing and my toothpaste is frozen, I don't want to brush my teeth. I don't want to do my morning routine. I don't want to sit here and write in the freezing cold. So, so happy I made it through the winter storms the last couple weeks and back to my routine. And oh my God, I just feel at peace. This is what I've been wanting to feel for a long time. A very long time. This is my aunt and uncle's cat, Pooper. She used to hiss at me and hate me with a passion. But I think we're becoming like best friends. No big deal. Oh, you mm -hmm. recognize me now. Yeah. yeah. Out for a walk in an edit session. I'm going to walk to a Starbucks, get some sunshine, get some food. And that's basically my morning routine. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, write Brene Brown down in the comments below and I'll write you back. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. See you tomorrow.